Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank God for Jesus. I want to welcome you to Friday Intercessory Prayer Connection. Focuses on healing today. And I, your one used by the Lord, A.K. Adams, all are welcome. The goal is to build your faith, to believe for healing for yourself or someone else. Praise the Lord. And we know the best way to approach it, building of the faith, is through the word of God. Amen. Amen. God is an awesome God. Yes, he is. And he has put in place awesome blessings for his creation, mankind. Amen. And that theme in the background supports the scripture for this page, this TV channel. The last word, Revelation 22, 21. Revelation is the last book of the Bible. 22 is the last verse. I should say the last chapter of the Bible. And 21 is the last verse. And it reads, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Hallelujah. And that is the last word in the King James Version of the Holy Manuscript, the Holy Bible. Amen. So we thank God for what he put in place for you and for myself. Amen. Amen. It is so. It is so. Yes, it is. And we don't have my sister, Marion Williams, with us today. So I am going to read the scripture for us. And we're going to start, of course, at Matthew. And we're going to go to the sixth verse. We're going to start at the fifth, I should say, sixth chapter, fifth verse. And I believe we'll end at the 18th. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. And let me get the, uh, get that on for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can we stop? Stop that scripture. Okay. Praise the Lord. And I hope that I have it on um, screen for you. I'll put it on screen if it's not on screen. Here we are. We're going to uh, go to the sixth verse. Let's see. Let's do that right now. Just, just type it on in for us. Sixth chapter, fifth verse. There we go. There we go. To eighteenth. All right. And we hope that we have a large size, extra large, so we can all see it. And here we are. Here we are. We're in English. So it's a help to me. All right. So it reads. Reads and waiting for it to show up on my cell phone. And when thou prayest, 
thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray in the synagogues, standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the street, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father, which is in secret, and thy father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. Amen. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do. For they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things you have need of before you pray. Amen. I love that. Just knoweth what things you have need of before you ask him. After this manner, therefore, pray ye. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses or forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also, if you forgive not men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will not forgive your trespasses. That's something to really, really consider. 16th verse. Moreover, when ye fast, be not like the hypocrites of a sad continence, for they disfigure their faces that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou fastest, anoint thy head and wash thy face. That thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy father, which is in secret. And thy father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. God is amazing. And if men always want to do things the opposite way. Amen. You know it's true. Now, here is the blessings for corporate prayer. So when you and I agree, hallelujah, we receive benefits. And this is why it's so wonderful to gather together in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth, 
as touching any thing that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father, which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Now that's pretty profound right there. But listen to this, 21st verse, 18th chapter of Matthew. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him till seven times? Jesus saith unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until 70 times seven. There you have it. The word of God for you and for me, for all of us who have agreed to be the children, hallelujah, of the most high God, the most high God. God is amazing. God is indeed amazing. And he wants us to live a victorious life. Now, God's idea of a victorious life and your idea of a victorious life may indeed be different. Amen. And that's something to really, really think about and consider. What are your ideas, hallelujah, of a victorious life? It's in the word of God, hallelujah. There are so many examples. I, I, get I get excited. I do, I become excited each and every time I read these scriptures because it's not just ink on paper or just text on a digital form. It's spirit and it's light, hallelujah. And it's so, 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 so helpful. And it's such a healing, hallelujah, to learn and to accept the truth. And what is true? The word of God is true. I've heard many people state, this life does not come with a manual. Well, actually, <laughs> it does. It comes with a manual. Amen. And that manual is this manuscript, this holy manuscript full of treasures. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. Full of treasures, full of blessings for you and for me. And it does take the Holy Ghost, the actual spirit of the Most High God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, hallelujah, to get the full essence of the truth, for it is his words. They are his words, his concept that he put in writing, in place for you and for me. And it brings about abundance in healing and in peace and in joy. Amen. We receive the, his righteousness, even the righteousness that he put in his only begotten son, Jesus, the Christ. And I have a particular way of visiting, revisiting, introducing this awesome, awesome, mind-boggling truth that the one we call, we refer, we refer to as Jesus is a spirit. God is a spirit, but Jesus is a spirit. And listen to this. You are a spirit. I am a spirit. But you are housed in a body. We're a spirit. When we receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, hallelujah, we become born again, not of the flesh, but of the spirit and the water. The word of God 
puts us in position to be born again. And you know what's so awesome? God gives us a real example of what that means. Oh, hallelujah. God sent a spirit into the womb of a virgin whose name is Mary. And that seed that God placed in her womb became a baby. That baby, when it was born, was named Jesus. Isn't that amazing? Isn't it amazing? Well, think about it. Where does life come from? Where does life come from? Yes, we know about the products that come together to make a baby. We understand that. But where does the life come from? Well, now we know. It's an example, very clear. Very clear. The spirit is made by the Lord God Almighty. And God transfers that spirit into the womb. And that womb is used to form a human being. And that human being when it's time, as a room, comes forth from the womb. Now, there are cesarean sections, but guess what? It still comes from the womb. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. It is amazing. Read Psalms 139. You know, I should just go there, shouldn't I? You know, I, the word is amazing. The word is amazing. So let me go to Psalms 139. Let us go, I should say, to Psalms 139. I'm going to get it on the screen. Yes, I am. Just give me time to go there. I never know how I'm going to be led. But I know that I will be led of the Lord God Almighty. Amen. All right. And I'm going to share it with you right now. Yes, I am. Here we are. Psalm 139. It is amazing. And this is verse 13. For thou possess my reins. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I always love to say, we're covered. <laughs> God covered us. God has us covered, literally. Amen? 14. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. Listen to this. My substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance. Woo. Yet being unperfect. In other words, we weren't finished yet. <laughs> we weren't a baby yet, but we were in the process. And in thy book, listen to this. And in thy book, God's book, all my members were written which in continents were fashioned when as yet there was none of them. You need to really take time out and meditate on that word and let God give you the insight that he would have you to have. It is amazing. That insight is amazing. God is amazing. 
God's word is amazing. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And so I thought I'd share with that, share that with you again, because some of you are listening for the first time. And I don't want you to think that I am not in agreement with the word of God. It's just to me, it's so important to know and for you to know that God is not from this planet Earth. He is not a human being. He is our creator. And he is the one that created heaven and earth. Hallelujah. Jesus began as a spirit. Amen. He, he was sent to earth and took on the form of a human being so that he could be the propitiation of our sins, the sin of mankind. But God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him should not perish should not perish, but have everlasting life. As it reads in the word, God is the one that formed us and he formed us for his good pleasure. Amen. For his good pleasure. And he loves his creation. God didn't create you and I for us to be buffeted about by the enemy. Oh, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he did not. Let me go there. Hallelujah. God created us in his image and in his likeness to be like him. And then God went so far, hallelujah, to make sure that we would have the good success that he, God, wanted us to have. God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over all and over the cattle and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. God made us to be like him and to look like him. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, well what happened? I'll tell you what happened. Man became disobedient. Yes, this is Friday intercessory prayer. Yes, our focus is on healing. And the reason I'm going here is so that you understand that the reason we are having problems on this planet that God made for you and I to have victory in is because of sin. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So you can read this later. It's right here. It's the devil. He came in. Amen. And he beguiled Eve. And Adam disobeyed God. And so it was counted as sin. And sin then became a part of man's DNA. Amen. Amen. 11th verse, third chapter. And he said, who told thee thou was naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, the woman whom you gave us to be with me, she gave me of the tree and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, what is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, the serpent beguiled me and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, now, all right? God said unto the serpent, you know, you can't just read this word. You have to read this word and let God bless your understanding. Amen. Praise the Lord. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle 
and above every beast of the field upon the belly, thou go, and dust shall thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel. Well, you know, women don't have seed, men do. But God formed a special seed and put it in the womb of Mary. So he was prophesying, amen, because it hadn't been done yet. Hallelujah, we need to read this word, not just read it, but read the word. Unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow, thou shalt bring forth children. All right, ladies, you want to know why it's so hard and why it hurts so badly? There's the answer. And thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam, he said, because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and has eaten of the tree of, the, of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat of the herb of the field. Amen. And in the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it was thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. And Adam called his wife name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. And Adam also, and to his wife, did the Lord God make coats of skins and clothed them. He clothed them with skins, which means he had to kill some animals, which is taught that was the sacrifice made for Adam. Now they're both, their names were called Adam, but Adam then named his wife Eve. Amen. Now listen to this. This is important, especially for those who are endeavoring to receive healing. And the Lord God said, behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. And now lest he put forth his hand to take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore, the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. Because the garden had everything. It supplied them with E-V-E-R-Y-T-H-I-N-G, everything. They really had it made. Honestly, everything was perfect. Utopia. Amen. So he drove out the man and he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubims. Now you want to know if there are creatures from outer space. Are there other living forms? There's your answer. Yes, there are. Cherubims. And a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. Because God did not want mankind to continue forever in a fallen state. That's not what God intended for his creation. God made you and made me. He made mankind. Now listen to this. Because in Genesis 1, we read that God made created man in his image and his likeness. He said us. This is the book of the generations of Adam in the day that God created man in the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam. So you see, both the male and the female were named Adam in the day when they were created. And we already read that Adam named his wife Eve. And Adam lived 130 years and begat a son in his own likeness and after 
his image and called his name Seth. There's your explanation. So God written what he meant and God meant what he had written. Mankind, amen. Mankind, you and I, we were created to look like God and to be like God, to have the spirit of God. Hallelujah. This is what God wants for you and I. And so he sent his only begotten son, Jesus, the Christ, so that we would have life, everlasting life. God did not create mankind to die. He created mankind to live for all eternity. We are a spirit and we live in a body. And this body was designed initially to live for all eternity. But sin entered into the DNA. And so, as David said in Psalms 51, in iniquity was I formed in my mother's womb. I really want you to be healed today. I want you to know, God wants you to know that he created you to be healed. So let's quickly go to Psalms uh, 51 want to make sure that you have the opportunity to later visit Psalms 21. And I'm using, well, you see the, um, oh my, having a little problem here getting to Psalms. Lucia Satan, the blood of Jesus Christ is against you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Thank you. Going to make sure that we can get this. Amen. 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 There we are. Psalms. There we are. Psalms. And we're going to go to uh, 51. What's that? What's me? Amen. Amen. Because I want you to see this. I want you to know that God did not create you and draw you to him so that you can suffer in the way that the unbeliever suffers. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. To have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, this is the first. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why? We sin with Bathsheba. So David wrote this song. And there's music to it. I don't know the original music, but we do have the words. So I want you to know, be encouraged. Confess your sin. David confessed his, you confess yours. And God is faithful. God is just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Yes, cleanse you from your sins and forgive you, hallelujah, from of all of your unrighteousness. And so that's why he says also, it's important for you to forgive others. When you don't forgive, you cause stress. And we know stress kills. We know today, stress kills. Amen. It wears on your mind, on your heart, literally. Your spirit weighs you down. So you want 
to forgive. Amen. You want to forgive and trust God. Now I'm going to go to my favorite video and I'm going to share that with you because it talks, I should say the video indeed, um, what do you say? Expresses the words, expresses what God would have for you. Praise God. It, it plays so fast. I hope that I'll be able to catch it as quickly as it plays. Amen. Let's
Amen, 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 amen. That's it. That's it. One day he's coming back. Glorious day. Now, I know the song says glorious day. But that's going to be a rough day for many who have not received, I should say for all who have not received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, we talked about truth. And I want you to read, I want you to read this um, with me. Because we're talking about fasting and praying for healing. I mean, Jesus went through quite a bit. He went through quite a bit when he was walking this planet. And you remember um, they came and you say uh, Judas, one of the 12 betrayed him, but he knew Judas was going to betray him. That was part of the um, plan, as you say, that was part of the redemption plan. Praise the Lord. So I'm we're just going to read John 18th chapter, 37 to 40. Pilate didn't want to kill Jesus. He didn't want to. He was trying to get out of it. But that was a role that he had to partake in. The 37th verse says, Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born. And for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. You can read the rest for yourself. Amen. I'm just going to scroll and you know you can stop the screen at any time. But Jesus, hallelujah, whoo, glory to God. Jesus came into this world for you and for I. Amen. Also, here's another awesome scripture that I want to share today. And that is Luke, the 10th chapter. And again, you can just stop this at any point and read it. But I'm going to go to the 17th. And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, now listen to this, listen. There's a lot to meditate on. There's a lot to meditate on. Amen. There is a lot to meditate on. And it's important that you take the time and meditate on it. Amen. On the word of God. It will strengthen you. It will heal you. You can get healed anywhere. You can receive God's healing anywhere. You don't work for healing. It's a gift. And it's already in place for you and for myself. Listen to this. Or read this. And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. You should never blaspheme the name of Jesus or God. Certainly, you don't want to blaspheme the Holy Ghost. They're gifts to us, and we should honor the name of the Lord God Almighty. We should honor the name Jesus. Amen. We shouldn't use it lightly, just frivolously, frivolously, just throwing it around. Don't do that. Repent. Ask for forgiveness and don't do that. Amen. And it will also help to bring healing to your mind, to your soul, and your body. Amen. Your emotions. Amen. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. That's like, it's faster than that. You've seen lightning strike either with your eye or, or television, movies somewhere. It's, that's fast. And Jesus was in heaven. He was a spirit. He wasn't, he didn't have human form. That was before he was sent to the womb 
of the Virgin named Mary. Amen. He said, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. It wasn't just Satan falling. Those demons, those angels were falling too. 19, behold, this is what God has for you. God put this in place for you through Christ Jesus, his only begotten son. Behold, I give unto you, I give, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Please, you read, ask God to give you understanding and faith to believe the word in your heart. In your heart. It's awesome. This is awesome. And this is the word of God. This is something I made up. This is the word of God. Amen. Amen. It's exciting. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Serpents and scorpions, spirits, evil spirits. That's what it boils down to, evil spirits. You have the power. It's been given to you through Christ Jesus. You're born again. Hallelujah. Ooh, glory to God. Learn. Learn. And over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. He said, that's what you rejoice over. See, the 70 came with joy. They were rejoicing because the spirits, the devils, the demons, they were able to cast them out. Hallelujah. And they had to obey because they did it in the name of Jesus. They did it in the name of Jesus. They were believers. They were born. They were believers. They weren't born again because Jesus hadn't died. They didn't, the New Testament wasn't in place. But Jesus was in place. The power, the source, the authority was in place. Woo! I hope you're catching this. I hope you're catching this. Because if you're catching this, you will employ these gifts. Now, Satan doesn't just come out like that all the time. You read Mark, I believe it's the ninth chapter. I don't know why you're stuck on this. Praise the Lord. Well, let's go there. Let's go there. I, I, I'm the whole purpose. We pray and we fast for healing. And I want you to be healed and I want you to hold on and keep that healing. And then I want you to spread it. Hallelujah. Encourage others. Amen. It's either the ninth chapter or it's the 11th chapter. Amen. Praise God. It's not the ninth. Let's, let's see if it's the um, if it's the 11th. It's one of these. I'm going to get it, though. Don't ask me why I don't remember. I don't know why. I don't remember. Praise God. We're going to find it. That's for sure. Amen. Hallelujah. But we know that's not the one. Praise God. So which one did I did I not do before? Okay. Yeah. Mark 4. Okay. Let's, let's go to Mark 4. Mark 4. Mark 4. And... See. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, I didn't find it. Praise God. Well, we're going to go this way then. We're going to find it. With the breath, the uh, Father said, Help thou my unbelief. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Help thou my unbelief. Did 
Do you see? Yeah, there it is. Help thou my unbelief right there. Amen. This is how you look at the scriptures. All right. Mark 9 and 23. Okay. Mark 9 and 23. There we go. So it was the ninth chapter. We did get that. Just didn't go down far enough. And 23. And so let's read it because this is important. It is so important. Amen. 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 Listen to this. <laughs> Listen to this. And one of the multitude answered and said, Master, I have brought, brought unto thee my son, which hath a dumb spirit. And wheresoever he taketh him, he teareth him and foameth and gnash with his teeth and pineth away. And I spake unto thy disciples that they should cast him out, and they could not. He answered him and said, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And they brought him unto him. And when he saw him, straight away the spirit tear him, and he fell on the ground and wallowed foaming. I don't know if you've ever witnessed that, but I have. I certainly have. I've witnessed that. And he asked his father, how long is, how long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said, of a child. So we know that he was an adult. He wasn't a child. And he asked that question so those that are around could hear. Jesus asked. Jesus already knew. And oft times it cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said unto him, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Please read the word. Please meditate on the word. Please talk to God about the word. And straightway, the father of the child cried out, and said with tears, now listen to this. Have you been here? Lord, I believe. Help thou my unbelief. Oh, this is the IT. It. I love God's compassion. I love God's compassion. He knows us in and out. He knows what we have need of before we ask. He knows. Jesus knew. But this is for you and for me so that our faith can be built. Hallelujah. So our faith will be built to where we're unmovable. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And receive the healing. Receive these blessings that God has for you and for me. Amen. So that we can stand in the gap for others. Amen. We can stand in proxy for others' healings. Believe God is doing this. It's already done as far as he's concerned. That's why it was important to share Psalms 139 with you. Amen. Ha ha. Woo. Your members were written even though they hadn't been formed. It was in God's book. This life that we're living is amazing. It's astounding. And so many people die without knowing the truth without knowing the benefits, without knowing the benefits. Learn about your benefits, please. The benefit of having a close relationship with the Lord God Almighty, through his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Pray, hallelujah, pray 59th Psalm. Pray, 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 pray the 51st Psalm. I'm so sorry, the 51st, pray what David prayed. Amen. Amen. Be born again. Be born again. Amen. Woo, I tell you. Hallelujah. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit. So many people don't believe that there's foul spirit. Yes, they cause problems. And the problems are defined as medically or motion, spiritually, mental, whatever. Bipolar, whatever but they're caused by, by spirits. Those spirits that Jesus saw falling 
amen, that he's given us power over, authority over. Read this word. It's for you. It's for me. Hallelujah. Saying unto him, thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him and enter no more into him. And the spirit cried and rent him sore and came out of him. And he was as one dead. I don't have never seen someone delivered. But I've seen it with my own two eyes. Amen. In so much that many said he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up. And lifted him up. And he arose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when he was coming to the house, his disciples asked him privately, why could not we cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, this kind can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. 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 Well, the time is well spent. It's after one o'clock all day. And I started on time. Please be encouraged. Watch the other videos. I pray specifically in detail for healing. Go to them. Agree. Hallelujah. If you haven't received your healing already, go. Listen to those videos and agree. God wants the best for you. Whatever the assignment is for you, he has everything in place. E-V-R-Y-T-H-I-N-G. I am not exaggerating. And I am not speaking what I don't know. I'm telling you, I know for an absolute, positive, indubitable fact. He has everything that you need. And many of you, if not all of you, already have everything you need. Some of you just don't know what God wants you to know. Please, I don't have any shame. I beg, I beg, I beg. Go over these scriptures. Read these scriptures. Please, listen to the scriptures with your heart, with the spirit of God. If you sin, ask for forgiveness. God is ready to forgive you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. That's written as well in St. John. First John, amen. For St. John, it's first John, second John, third John, read them. And know that your love, your love, you are loved by the Lord God Almighty. You are loved by your creator. When you become born again, you're tired of your life, you can get a new life. And you don't have to kill yourself. And you don't have to kill anyone else. Amen. It's important to know. God wants you to have all the blessings that he has in place for you. To D-A-Y day. Amen. And like those little time capsules, the blessings will manifest different stages 